Hi Kirby fans, what we're going to do today is checking out whether this pre-treatment for heavy traffic actually works. So what we'll do is we'll get straight to it. Hi Kirby fans, welcome back to the channel. Again, those are new to the channel, if you haven't already and you're getting value out of this content, then contemplate slapping that subscribe button, dinging that bell for notifications, give us a big thumbs up, and comment down below. I will reply to the comment, and if I like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. Right, so in today's video, what we're going to be doing is checking out this heavy traffic uh, pre-treatment that you use on your shampoo system. And according to the tag, it says shock, it actually works. So what we're going to do is check it out and see if it does actually work as good as it says. So what we'll do is we'll get straight to it. Hi Kirby fans, so what I've done is I've set up the Century 2 with the Avalier system. This is purely again just to show people that you don't have to upgrade from Avalier, you can use your Century with the new shampoo system. And I think the shampoo system is absolutely amazing. Um, it's a great improvement by Kirby and just the way the tray empties, it, it's just fantastic and it's really gentle on your carpets as well. So what I'll do, we've got a bit of a stain here. Um, we've got some food colour in there and then we've got some uh, dust from actually brushes. Silly, I left the lid off the curb while I was changing the brushes and checking them out and it obviously threw some dust up and actually stained the carpet. So what we're going to do is try and get this stain out and see if this actually works. So what I'll do is quickly zoom in and show you the stain. Right, so what we've got is a bit of a stain here. Now there's a little bit of food colour in there. From when I was doing my sand tests, I don't mix food colouring with it anymore for that reason. There is a tip to get food colouring out if you've got it in your carpet. Obviously, don't try and shampoo it um, because it will stain it even more. It sort of spreads it. But uh, I'll explain that tip after. So as you can see, we've got the stain here, um, and it's mainly from when I was changing some brushes and checking it out with the lid off the Kirby, and it obviously spread the dust out, all the carbon all over my carpet and marked it so it acts a bit like traffic but we'll see if we can actually get that out. Right so just going to literally spray it just cover all that stain with a light coat of the heavy traffic cleaner. And what we'll do is just leave that for about five minutes and see how we go. Right, so that's been soaking for about five minutes. So what we're going to do is zoom in and we're going to try and shampoo it and see if actually get it out. So headphone users turn them down. You don't need your Kirby in drive when you're shampooing. So I'm going to turn this to shampoo. I know I'm out of camera shot. Make sure your shampoo is all the way down. And away we go. So headphone users turn them down. It's going to be quite loud. So you can see he's got something up. So it's been drying out overnight, it's totally drying out. Um, I'm going to back it up and see how well it comes up. It's got um, most of the stain out. Obviously I didn't expect to get the food colouring out, um, purely because I spread that when I actually shampooed it and it had green sand in it still. Um, so if you've got food colouring in your carpet, there is a way to get it out. So don't shampoo it with a Kirby 
because you, if, you stand, if there's sand in there or there's food colour in there, it will spread it around. All you do is you get um, a towel, soak it, make it soaking wet, put the towel over the top of your carpet and then get an iron and it will steam out onto the towel so it will literally get it off the carpet which is what I should have done but I didn't do that. So what we'll do now is just vac it and see how well this comes up after using that pre-treatment and shampooing it and uh, we'll see how we go. Right, so headphone users turn them down. So I've just zoomed in so you can literally see that it has got all that black stain out. So anything coffee or anything like that, that pre-treatment does really, really work. And then just shampoo it. Obviously, as I said, it's not going to get the food coming out. Um, that was my own fault. I should have steamed it out. But you learn from your mistakes. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it was really informative for those who haven't used that pre-treatment. It does actually work. As I said, it's not going to get out food colouring. The best way to get out food colouring, as I specified, is just get a, get a towel, wet it, put it on, and then just steam it out. So you iron it and it will steam it into the dishcloth as opposed to leaving the carpet. So there's a little tip for you. So again, those are new to the channel. If you haven't already and you're getting value out of this content, then contemplate slapping that subscribe button, ding that bell for notifications, kiss big thumbs up, and comment down below. I will reply to the comment, and if you like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. Right, so what we'll do is we'll cut to the bloopers and I'll see you in the next one. Hi Kirby fans, what are we going to do today? The bit. I guess speaks up, thumbs up. The bit. Um, um, the, obviously as I said, it's not going to get out food colouring. Um, so this is as I said. The bit.